ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassion and the merciful All praise is due to Allah And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad His family, his companions and all of his followers Until the day of resurrection I welcome you to this new episode from the series Glimpses from the fragrant prophetic biography of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Today I'm continuing what was said before in regards to the correspondence taking place between the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the leaders of the world at his own time. So what he did, he wrote to the Negus of Abyssinia and he wrote to al muqawqis of Egypt and he thirdly wrote to Kisra or Khusrus of Persia. He was the king of Persia and he sent the letter with Abdullah ibn Hudhafa as Sahmi. What he wrote to him, he said, from Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah, to Khusrus or Kisra in Arabic, the uh, leader or king of Persia. And he said, uh, Peace upon those who follow the guidance and believe in Allah and his messenger and bore, bear witness that uh, there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah alone and that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. And I call you with the call of Islam. I am the messenger of Allah to all people uh, so that I really warn those who are uh, alive and uh, then those who reject will be, of course, uh, uh, punished and so accept Islam and you will be safe and if not then you will get the uh, sin of the uh, 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 of your own people well the uh, when uh, this letter actually was, was, was sent with Abdullah ibn Hudhafa he took it either directly or to the uh, governor of Bahrain uh, and then he, uh, it reached uh, the uh, king of Persia. Once he read it, actually he tore it down and he said, uh, you know, uh, with arrogance, uh, a, 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 an insignificant slave from my own people write his name before me. And then, of course, when he got the response, when the Prophet was told about what he, what he did and what he said, he said, mulka. May Allah tear down his own kingdom. And exactly this is what happened uh, because he, uh, Khusrus, uh, wrote back to his, his own uh, uh, you know, governor in, uh, by the name of Bavan uh, in Yemen, and he said, send to the man in Hijaz uh, two men from you, uh, two strong men, and then uh, uh, you, you go and bring, bring him to me. So Badan sent two men from, his own, from his, his own side, and he sent this the letter to the uh, Prophet Sallallahu and then when they reached uh, Medina, they met the Prophet Sallallahu and one of them said, uh, the Shah and Shah, uh, the King of Kings, uh, Khusrus, wrote to the King Badan. He is asking him to uh, send you, uh, send to you so that uh, we, we bring you uh, uh, to him. And he sent me so that you can come with me. And he uh, like kind of threatened him. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, well, come back tomorrow. When it was time for tomorrow, there was a, a big uh, revolt uh, in, uh, in the, in the uh, palace of Khosrus and from his own house where his uh, uh, own son actually, uh, uh, Shiroe, killed him. 
and then he took over power and then he was the king he became the king uh, uh, in the uh, uh, in the month of Jumada uh, the year of 7 and then the prophet ﷺ learned all of this from uh, uh, wahi or the revelation by jibril alayhi salatu wasalam when they came to him in the morning he said uh, do you know what uh, uh, they said do you know what you say he said well uh, uh, what we what happened to you was was more easy than what you wanted to do so uh, they said should we should we write this uh, uh, about you and we tell the king meaning the badan in yemen he said yes uh, tell him about this and tell him that my own religion and and power will reach uh, uh, what uh, uh, whatever is under under Khosros and uh, to what, wherever uh, horses and camels can reach and uh, tell him that if you accept Islam I will give you what is under you and you'll be the king of your own people and uh, they of course uh, uh, told uh, Badan as they uh, went back to him and uh, he actually uh, received another message from uh, the new king in Persia saying uh, uh, look the man that my father wrote to please do not do anything until I tell you what to do later so that was that was a, a letter look at the response different responses from different leaders uh, the king of Persia did not accept what was said to him and uh, of course uh, later on Badan when learning of, about all of this he himself accepted Islam Badan accepted his Islam uh, Islam along with the people who were with him as well now the following uh, letter that was sent was to uh, from uh, uh, Heraclius uh, or Herakl uh, the king of the Romans now, this uh, uh, letter was uh, sent by, uh, through uh, Dihya ibn Khalifa al-Kalbi. Now, Dihya actually carried the message where it said uh, from Muhammad, the messenger, slave messenger of Allah, to Heraclius, uh, the uh, king of the Romans. He said, uh, peace be upon those who follow guidance. Uh, accept Islam and you'll be safe uh, and uh, accept Islam and Allah will give you your reward twice and he uh, uh, again uh, asked him to uh, and he read to him exactly he sent him the same verse that he sent to uh, the Negus Ya Ahl al-Kitabi ta'ala ila kalimatin sawa'in bayna na baynakum alla na'buda illa Allah wa la nushrika bihi shay'a O people of the book come to a word that is even between us and you that we shall not worship anyone except Allah and that we should not associate partners anything with Allah and shall not take each other as gods uh, beyond uh, uh, the Godship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now uh, Dihya when uh, when he actually uh, uh, was asked to deliver it to the uh, king of Busra so he can uh, push it to uh, Kaiser or uh, Heraclius and actually Abu Sufyan uh, Ibn Harb when he was not a Muslim actually uh, 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 when he was on a travel to, uh, to Palestine to what we call Greater Syria actually uh, Heraclius asked about him and he said uh, uh, he, he was with a company of, uh, of Quraysh. They were uh, merchants uh, in Syria. And then uh, uh, they came to him when he was in Jerusalem. This was called Elia. That's one of their names in the, uh, uh, the biblical name. And then he called them to his own uh, place. And, he, uh, and all of the uh, great uh, Roman leaders were around him. Then he called upon the uh, uh, translator to come and he said, uh, who's closer in, uh, in relationship, in blood relationship with this man that uh, uh, he claimed to be a prophet? Abu Sufyan said, I am. And he said, uh, bring him closer to me and even bring his own companions uh, uh, closer to him and put them behind him and say to the translator, I'm going to ask this man 
then if he says a lie, then you should tell me that he was lying. Because, uh, and then Abu Sufyan said, well, uh, I was ashamed to say anything, uh, uh, you know, wrong or false. Otherwise, I would have lied uh, against the Prophet because of the hatred and animosity. Now, he said, the first thing that he asked me about is, how is his um, lineage among you? He said, well, he, is, has, he has the most noble lineage uh, among us. Then he said, uh, did anyone before him said that, uh, uh, you know, among you? He said, no. He said, uh, was any of his fathers uh, was a king? He said, no. He said, then uh, who's following him? The, the noble among you or the, the lower class and, and the weak? He said, no, the weak and, and, and the lower class. He said, well, do they increase or decrease? He said, no, they, they increase. He said, when they accept Islam, do they uh, return back to uh, disbelief uh, after entering Islam? He said, no. He said, do you uh, uh, accuse him of lying uh, before he said what he said? They said, no. He said, does he uh, uh, betray any uh, of his promises? He said, no. Uh, and we are now in a, uh, in a covenant with him and we don't know whether he'll, he, you know, what he's going to do. Uh, and he said, uh, did you fight him? He said, yes. He said, how was the fighting? Uh, between you and him. He said, well, it's like uh, he wins one time and we win another time. So it was like between us and him. He said, uh, what does he command you to do? He said, worship Allah alone. Do not associate anything with him and then uh, abandon what your fathers were doing in, in terms of worship. And he uh, called us to, do the, to offer the prayer, to be truthful, to be uh, kind to parents. And he said, uh, now, Heraclius was saying to the uh, translator, he said, well, ask about uh, uh, his own lineage and his lineage uh, uh, is, is the best and, and the most noble. And that is uh, exactly how messengers were sent to their own people. And I said, anyone said that before, before him? He, sa he said, no. And that is exactly what, uh, you know, he, I, I could have said he, uh, he was following someone before him and asked you, how, uh, was, was anyone uh, from his father's uh, was was a king, and he said no. And and probably, uh, if if there was, then he was he would be asking for, uh, you know, the rulership of his uh, predecessor uh, fathers, and asked about uh, do you uh, accuse him of lying? And he said no. And uh, uh, of course, I would not. I would know that uh, he would uh, abandon lying to people, and then lies to Allah. And I ask you about, uh, you know, whether the uh, the noble among you uh, follow him or the uh, uh, the lower class. And you said no, the lower class. And that is exactly how messengers were followed. And then, uh, you know, ask about all of these things. Well, finally, he said, uh, uh, when we when he when he completed the reading of the book, uh, of course, uh, you know, voices started to go over. And then uh, uh, we were asked to leave, and he said, uh, uh, "Abu, you know, Abu Sufyan was saying, well, now uh, the king of the uh, uh, of the Romans is really fearful of the prophet." And he said, "Well, that is a sign that the prophet, peace be upon him, will come over, and he will be he will be superseding, and he will be having the power over over." Uh, 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 the Romans, as he expected, so that was that was the uh, the idea. But then finally, he gave Dihya uh, Al Kalbi, the leader of the group. He gave him uh, uh, some wealth, and he gave him some uh, clothing, and he uh, uh, actually sent him back to the uh, to the so with, with gifts to the Prophet. But then the gifts were uh, taken by uh, some uh, thugs on the way back to Medina, but then the Prophet ﷺ actually punished those who um, uh, interrupted and took the, the gifts of, the, uh, of Heraclius. That was the story from, uh, you know, the two uh, correspondence that took place between uh, uh, the, the king of Persia and the king of, uh, of the Romans 
at the Prophet's time. Well, until I see you with the next episode of this series, Glimpses from the Fragment Prophetic Biography, uh, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ما كان محمد أبا أحد من رجالكم ولكن رسول الله وخاتم النبيين وكان الله بكل شيء عليما